I've been in the mining industry for 35 years, ever since I was 20 years old, just a kid. I've seen it all and pretty much done it all. I've been a maintenance worker. I've been a gas fitter. I've been a trackman, a conductor, and an engineer. That field experience is vital if you're going to become a good training instructor. I've also undergone a tough training and assessment process myself. It's something all trainers must complete. And there are trainers for virtually every occupation in the mining industry, from underground miners to shift supervisors. I'm a trainer in the transportation department. The department makes sure ore gets from the different mine shafts to the smelter for refining. The core element of our transportation system is a complex rail network. I train the conductors who make sure the rail network operates smoothly and safely at all times. I'm given quite a bit of leeway in terms of how I go about training them, but most new conductors complete an eight-week training course. I train them one at a time so they can fully gain the knowledge and skills they need to carry out their important work. The training starts with an introduction to the transportation department and the track infrastructure. I use a variety of visual aids, PowerPoint presentations, slides, and videos to perform this part of the training. I then train them on the tools and equipment that conductors use. We work with 110 ton locomotives and ore cars. Because the rail equipment operates outdoors, training also involves understanding how to deal with the elements, the cold and the snow, and how it affects the conductor's day-to-day -day work. I then take the new conductor through the nine different tasks that conductors must perform. This part of the training is done to build the conductor's confidence. The conductor then goes on shift with a crew for four weeks to get some real life work experience. After this shift period, I'll assess the skills of the conductor and administer a test. If the conductor passes this testing and skills assessment, he'll become a full-fledged conductor. I usually train 20 conductors a year. All right, so where were we guys? But I don't just push them through training. I never take half done as okay. And I'm not afraid to hold someone back if they're not ready to do the job properly. At the same time, there's no better feeling than when I've trained a worker and they're ready to take on their new job. I'm making a real noticeable contribution to the success of the mine and the career of that worker. Make sure pre-use checks are done and the form is filled out. As a trainer, it doesn't get any better than that. Ready to go to work?